bounds you're using. Programmers might wonder why you're using 1 to 4. Well, they don't necessarily always know you have 1 to 4 buttons on the screen. So you could write that out and put a little note buttons on the screen so somebody understands. But what I would do is simply just take the button and now since this is an object it has a method. If you don't do low bound with parentheses you do dot low bound. It's an object not something that we declared like an array um, so and then we could say to button command dot u bound. Alright next Okay, and here we're going to say, I want all of them to all of a sudden, for whatever reason, um, not be enabled. And when we run this program, we'll see that this one does equal high, and they're all in it disabled. Not enabled. So go ahead and close that. Um, and we can change these just by using... Uh, the element that it is. Um, like I was saying earlier, if you want to get the last button, it was three, excuse me, you can change its back color um, to a to a number that you would know, um, or you can change its top property, put where you want it to be, how high, uh, maybe you want the height to be different, anything like that. Um, now let's go to that load and lo unload statement that I was talking about. Okay, let's say we want to add a new button. And all we do is load button command. But we can't just load a button without the index number. So we need to know what we already have. If we load zero, we're going to get an error because we already have one that's zero for index. Um, you, what you can do, you remember what I said about button command dot u bound. You could use dot count in this case, but dot u bound is going to give us the highest number already that we have in the index. So, but that's going to be the same number still. We want to just add one to it. Now it's going to be three plus one, which is four. So we have a new button. And since you won't be able to see that button because it doesn't make it visible, we have to make it visible. So we could do button command dot u bound. Now this is dot u bound because at this point it's going to be 4 because the number that's the highest is going to be 4 instead of 3. So we can just put dot visible equals true and it should be on the screen but you're going to wonder where it is. Well let's go ahead and move it to button command button command dot u bound dot move this is a function within Visual Basics that will help you move uh, an object. Um, right now it's telling me what do you want. Um, I'll put 0, 0. Okay, so we're going to have this button on top of this one right here. What we're going to do is, is uh, move this button and the others real quick so you can see what's going on. Okay. And then we're going to set its caption too. Why not? We're already here doing this. We can use a with statement for this case. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, use some copy and paste. We go with button command button command dot u bound end with. Uh, this should be on the same line. There we go. What we want to do now is take these, tab it, and erase this because this is what's above in the width statement. So it's going to go to that object and say dot visible anyways. You can see how. Now it's going to take a little bit less uh, resources, but um, it's so small you almost don't even notice it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and run this thing. And there it is. Now, um, I'm sorry to make this video so short, but like I said, I'll quickly go over things. 
Um, as you saw, this was an object, and what we did was control arrays. Um, you can do a tr control arrays with any object that I know of um, within Visual Basic 6. And if you do have any questions or comments, please comment. I uh, make these videos up just for the heck of it and to help everybody else out. Somebody that doesn't understand, maybe wants some more help, comment. I'll give you some help. I'll make some more videos. Thank you, and I hope this will help you.